Because there are so many great third-party keyboards for Android, it's important to know how to switch them. We're going to have a look at how you can do that on just about any phone out there once you get updated to Lollipop. Let's open up a blank document in Google Docs and give it a tap so the keyboard comes up. And You'll notice this is the stock Lollipop keyboard. It's a great keyboard. If that's what you want to go with, nobody's going to question that decision. We love it. But maybe you want to change. Maybe you want to try a different keyboard. So you need to know how to switch it. Depending on your phone, you may have certain methods that work, but this will work on every phone, and that's doing it through the settings. Open up your settings, however you do that on your phone, and you're looking for a line item that's called language and input. Go ahead and find that and give it a tap. And it'll open up, and you'll see quite a few options there. But what we're interested in is current keyboard. That's the one that's selected. Right now, you can see it's just set to the standard Google keyboard. But we have SwiftKey installed, so that's an option. Let's go ahead and choose it. And I'm going to go back and make sure that it got selected. So, yes, we're good. Now, let's go back to our document, open it up, and tap the screen so the keyboard comes up. And there's SwiftKey, which is another great keyboard a lot of us love. There are so many to choose from. The process of selecting them is the same, no matter which you've chosen. So that's how you can do it on all the phones. Your phone may be a little bit easier. You notice here on the Nexus 6, there's a keyboard key down with the soft buttons. But through the settings, we'll work on every Android phone out there once it gets updated to Lollipop. I hope this helped you a little bit. And in the meantime, I am out of here.